So I'm, um, I'm a producer, but I'm also a student of Hebrew. And um, as I was preparing materials for uh, marketing uh, this song one day um, and, and trying to get some materials together for the video, I started to see something that I thought was really interesting. I'll share it with you. And that I don't know if you know much about the civil rights movement in America and the NAACP. But the whole thing reached a turning point um, in the 60s when a lady called Rosa Parks, who was a member of the NAACP, um, got on a bus. Now in those days, uh, black folks had to sit at the back of the bus. This particular day, Rosa, she'd been working hard and her feet were tired and she refused to give up her seat when asked to move to the back of the bus. And um, this is what was the turning point in this whole movement because she was arrested. But here's the interesting thing, when they arrested her, they, um, they took a mugshot of her, as they used to in those days, um, and they put a plaque in front of her. And the plaque had a number on front of it, and it's 7053. And there's a book called The Strong's Concordance, which has all of the Hebrew meanings of different words. And there's actually a number that corresponds with every word. And the number, or the word that corresponds with the, with the number 7053, is the word kileshon and it means to prick, like a pinprick, or to goad. So it's almost as if this uh, little incident that happened with this little lady uh, was going to prick the conscience of a nation and goad it in the right direction. But if you know anything about the history of the NAACP, they didn't actually have a leader at that point. So what often happened was because church leaders uh, already had community gatherings in their churches, they were often chosen for these jobs. And that's what happened to Martin Luther King. He was chosen because he was the, the pastor of the local church. So they all marched down there and said, Miss, Miss Parks has been arrested, you know, and uh, can you do something about it? And off Martin went and this began his journey. Uh, towards being the leader of the civil rights movement. He also got arrested, and when he was arrested, they gave him a plaque as well. And um, the number that he had was 7089. Now here's the interesting thing. If you look that up in a Strong's Concordance, you'll find the word kephador, and uh, it speaks of a shuddering, or, if you like, an earthquake. <laughs> So it's like this pinprick, which was Rosa Parks, created a situation that brought in the man called Martin Luther King and what he would do through his campaigns of peaceful protesting and silent marching and uh, non-violent uh, approach to civil rights might seem like it's just a small thing but it had an impact that literally shook up the entire world. <laughs>